It's been about two weeks since Tate Anderson of Rigby received a new heart. He's been recovering at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City, and we haven't heard much from the little guy until now. So how are you doing, bud? I'm good. You look good. I got a new heart. One look at Tate Anderson, and you'd never guess that just 14 days ago, he had a heart transplant. The second uh, that the donor heart was put in, it was beating like it was his all along. The nine-year-old was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, a rare condition that is almost always fatal. Tate's waited his entire life for a new heart, and on June 23rd, he got one. The hospital says that he's still sick and he needs to be here, but honestly, this is the healthiest we've ever seen him. Good job, buddy. Tate's now spending his days in physical therapy and watching his girlfriend, Ellen. Years ago, the talk show host heard about Tate's wish to meet her. Since then, he's been on her show a few times, and on the day of his surgery, he received a surprise phone call. The day of the transplant, Ellen called and talked to us and talked to Tate and just said, you know, you can do this and just gave us all a pep talk. It was awesome. While Tate looks and sounds good. He's just got an IV on his arm, his heart line, and that's it. He still needs medical care. Doctors will be monitoring him for at least six months, making sure his body doesn't reject the heart. That means his mother, Chrissy, will have to stay in Salt Lake City, so a GoFundMe account has been set up to help with finances. Chrissy was kind of stressing out a little bit about how are we going to do this? How are we going to stay here? You know, what are we going to do? Tate's family hopes he's home by Thanksgiving. Until then, he'll keep repeating his favorite line from his favorite movie, Finding Nemo, a motto that has helped him year after year. What do we do? Come back to Idaho and see us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. After I died in the hospital. Come back to Idaho. Tate's mother and family want to thank everybody for their support and to the donor family who they don't know. They say they're truly sorry for your loss and they're praying for you. I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.